Okay, y'all, good um, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this. Today I had another project that I wanted to get done. Actually, several projects I wanted to get done. But this, of course, is the 4108 Alpha. That's the Buffalo bus, the 72 model. I had, this is a marker light. This is a reproduction marker light that goes onto the bus. Uh, they'll go, I think there's three on each side and a couple, you know, for the blinkers and whatnot. But my challenge was, is this is has a bulb in it and I don't want bulbs in them I want to use LEDs so I did have an LED light that I tried to put up there but it was way too small it was gosh it was about that size and it just didn't look good it did not have to drill new holes I'd have to fill in holes and all kinds of stuff for that but it was an LED so I decided to see if I could do a little modification on this puppy took it apart took everything apart on this thing like you would took it off of the up at that and that and look what I came up with I took the LED element that was in the back of that other one let me see if I can get it back out again because I got it in there pretty darn tight and hang on a second oh I get well hang on I'll be right back okay I'm back anyway I took the LED element that was in that old or the, the other new uh, side marker light it was way too small and I just started modifying it. just started cutting it off this again looked pretty much like this but it was just really small so I took the LED portion of it out and again it wouldn't fit in the receptacle here it wouldn't fit in here it was too big so I just started taking the old uh, grinder here and grinding off a little bit at a time just kept rounding the corners off and rounding the corners off until it actually will fit inside of this and now lo and behold i have the right marker light the correct size the correct everything but it now has an led in it so next i'm going to go out and see if it actually will work and i'll be back with that in a second now if you were to look at this here it is all assembled again if you were to look at it there's no way you would tell that that does not have a bulb in it that it, or that it has an LED in it. And so that is great. I also had to make the new gasket for the bottom and I'm right in the middle of that because that goes on here like this and it uh, creates a waterproof uh, barrier in there. What I did was took one of the old mats that you get out of Walmart or wherever box store you want to go to get, and took that and just cut a piece out of it. Cut a piece out of it and then start rounding it off and rounding it off and I'll do some more trimming of course. And then that will go there. This will go here like this and, oops, where we go? Anyway, that will go on top of that and then that'll go through and that will be the gasket for the bottom of this thing when it goes up on the bus itself. So gonna go out, put it on and continue. Well, of course I need to continue to uh, modify that gasket a little bit, but that'll be waterproof and it will be an LED and I'm going to be very happy. I'll probably do that to the rest of them also because I want LED side markers and uh, turn signals.